Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Lainey. Today we're going to be talking about how to make trendy pieces more personal. I'm hoping that title kind of explains itself, but I've noticed a lot of the times people and myself included, we get scared of wearing these really trendy pieces that we've seen so many times. Maybe it's not scared, maybe you're sick of seeing this piece so much, but when it came out, you really loved it, you bought it, and then it's just been over saturated. So when I think of that kind of piece, I think of that green House of Sunny dress. I think of the Elton John Realization Par baby tee. A lot of people said Vivian Westwood necklaces. I saw... I did a poll on my Instagram asking for what you guys thought of, and I wanted to make it really clear that I asked what are some aggressively trendy pieces I said you can love these pieces or hate them, that's not the point of it. It's just what is really trendy that we see all the time. The more specific, the better. Air Force Ones. We got a lot of like psychedelic swirly prints, people said. People said cowboy boots. There was a lot, honestly, and it was kind of scary seeing how much you guys think is already aggressively trendy. I'm not gonna talk about how to make cowboy boots or like Jaden Doc Martens or even Air Force Ones, how to make those feel more personal because in my head, even though those are really trendy or have been really trendy, they're still basics. And what I mean by that is your whole outfit isn't overpowered by a pair of Jaden Doc Martens. If anything, a pair of Jaden Doc Martens is gonna enhance the outfit you already had on. You're not really revolving everything around the Jaden Doc Martens because they're just a staple or a classic. Now, when you think of that Greenhouse of Sunny dress, and again, this isn't a dig. I really like that dress. I just never ended up getting it. That's something where it's gonna dominate your entire outfit. I mean, it's a freaking dress. That's basically the whole outfit or even the Realization Par baby tee, any of their baby tees, quite honestly. It's this print where as soon as you see it, you know it, it draws your eyes to that part of your outfit. So what I wanna do is show you guys how to style maybe these aggressively trendy pieces you have in your closet and make them feel more personal. I don't have either of those items, but I do have, I mean, I have a lot of pieces that are trendy. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm high and mighty and can fight all these trends. Does it bother anyone else that I'm punching this plant? I have pieces that are trendy, and when I was seeing a lot of these suggestions, which were so amazing, thank you so much if you ever do participate in my little like polls and Q and A's on my Instagram stories. When I see people say crochet or trucker hats or psychedelic prints, I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, those are super trendy right now, but the way I bought into all of those trends is by doing it with vintage or thrifted pieces. So I have these printed pants that everybody was saying, but both of mine are thrifted. I never see them on anyone else. To me, they already feel personal because I'm the only one who has them or one of few people who has them. And that exclusivity, yeah, that's kind of like a poo way to think about it because that isn't what should matter. But to me, it makes it feel more personal. and. It makes me wear a trend a lot longer than if I were to have bought a pair of printed pants from Zara that everyone ended up wearing, it would feel like a fad to me and I'd be over them. But because I thrifted them, they're more personal, you get it. Same with the trucker hats. You guys know I have that Laney trucker hat that I've had since I was like six years old. Very personal to me. It's not a fast fashion trucker hat, so I'm gonna wear it longer than the trend sticks around. Even buying them on eBay or crochet, I have small business crochet bags that just feel, again, really personal to me. It's not always thrifted things, but maybe not buying the top hype beast version of the trend can feel a little bit more personal. But if you do already have some of these super trendy items and you're like, I don't know how to wear it, Maybe you have buyers or more now buying it, or you still really love it, but you don't want to be looked at as like, oh, like, these girls don't know how to dress, they just buy what's trendy. Like, that's so effing annoying, the people who do think like that. But I get where you're coming from because I have that fear too. I have two pieces that a lot of people have, and they were on the list of things people were saying. 
Honestly, I didn't even think of them because to me they're just like, I love them, they're special to me. They don't have that aggressively trendy feel, they just feel like mine and they work in my closet. So when I look at them, I'm like, oh yeah, that's me, that's so me. I don't think of, oh, that's such like TikTok, Pinterest girl aesthetic, that's not Lainey. So I have this blue argyle sweater vest that a lot of people have, it's from Princess Polly. I love it, it's not going anywhere because a lot of people did say sweater vests and I have some sweater vests that I thrifted that I thought would be kind of a cop out to like use it in these tips and tricks. And then I have a pair of the Saks Potts dupes sparkly pants. I wanted to do two pieces that are a little more bold and that really take over that outfit like I was talking about. I needed to do a little bit of a challenge for myself and not just do a Vivian Westwood necklace. I don't even have that, but dress around a Vivian Westwood necklace. It's like that's really easy to make work in this kind of sense. Even the sparkly Saks Potts pants, I don't feel like they're as trendy because they never really hit fast fashion like name brands. The only way you could get a Saks Potts dupes were from girls like hand making them on Depop or I got mine from Bond Studio, which is like a small business overseas. So there's that. But there's still, you look at it, it's trendy. It takes over the whole outfit. And I knew it would be a challenge to try and dress them with these tricks. So, sorry that was bit of a rant, but I really wanted you guys to understand what I'm trying to do here for you guys. This was kind of hard to think of, but you guys seem to really enjoy these types of videos where I rack my brain a little bit and think of ways we can grow along our wardrobe. These have no particular order. We're just gonna start with what came to my head first, and I'm gonna be showing all of these ways with the two pieces I mentioned before, except for this first one because you'll understand it doesn't really work to show. My first tip, if you're trying to make your dress or your shirt or your bold piece not the centerpiece of your outfit and try to think of how maybe somebody else wouldn't style it, don't take your crazy printed pants, put them on, and dress around it. I explained this in another video when I was sharing how I get dressed when I think I have nothing to wear. I pick a hero piece and I dress around it. It, disregard everything I said about that. What you're gonna do is put on everything else that you'd be wearing around it and not thinking about what shirt or what pants you're really wearing and then make that the finishing touch. If I'm wearing this statement piece, for me it would be I'm gonna take my statement piece and then dress around it because that's a lot easier. But if you're wearing other statement items and then you put that on as the last finishing touch, it's <laughs> not always gonna work, but it can either all blend together and you just see it as a seamless outfit opposed to, oh, she dressed her printed crazy pants around all these basics, and you can tell. You want it to look like a cohesive set and not pinpoint, oh, she's wearing the House of Sunny dress and that's all I see. Dress around it. Next tip would be to style your one piece with more personal pieces or thrifted pieces. So for this, I showed my Argyle sweater vest with a pair of thrifted trousers. Nobody else probably has these trousers. Do they have similar ones? Sure. It's such a classic look, but there's little details that can make it seem a lot more personal. I'm going to style it with these pants that have a small print in them that to me, I can see it, it feels different. It's not pairing it with the classic white schoolgirl skirt that would seem so obvious. Just think a little bit out of the box. This is still really playing into the preppy feel of this sweater vest, but we're doing it in a bit of a different way. And then with the sparkly pants, I'm pairing it with this button down sequin shirt that I got from eBay. I've never seen anyone else with this shirt. This shirt would perfectly play into the first thing I said where we kind of already have a statement piece on top and then we're adding another statement piece on bottom and you look at it as an outfit. It doesn't look like, oh, she just got the sax pot stoops and thought she could take it easy, play it safe, pair it with something really boring on top. Not saying anything's wrong with that, but. So moral of the story is just not pairing it with other trendy pieces. And like what I said before with the sweater vest and wearing it with the schoolgirl skirt, a little schoolgirl pleated skirt is also so, so, so trendy right now. And pairing those two together 
it just looks like straight off Pinterest. Like I've said before, you look like a walking catalog. You want it to feel more you. So not necessarily saying that the trousers would fit into everybody's way of making this piece more personal, but for me, I love trousers. I wear these trousers all the time, so wearing them with the sweater vest just really feels like me. I don't feel like I'm trying to be someone. It just feels like me. Okay, next. Kind of going on the opposite, spectrum of that is dressing the piece polar opposite so like the sweater vest before we really played into that preppy feel of it and now i'm gonna go totally opposite and pair it with these printed psychedelic pants these are the ones i was talking about before i thrifted these or i got them off ebay but they're vintage you would never think of pairing these two things together i would say these pants fall a little bit more under that like y2k and more of a grunge feel just with the color and the print and we've got preppy on top, more grungy Y2K on bottom. And together, to me, they work. I think it's really cute. And it looks like a super personal, unique outfit with a really trendy top. And then doing this with the sequin pants, I would pair something really understated. The bottoms are super loud, kind of dressed up. You'd think you're going out if you're gonna be wearing your sparkly pants. So I just threw a crew neck on top and I really love wearing these pants like this. It's two polar opposites, but together they somehow work in my eyes. I really like how it looks and it doesn't feel, again, overtly trendy. Another way to just get the ideas flowing of how to dress these items, because I know it's so easy to look on Pinterest and just kind of mimic somebody else's outfit. It can really lose that personal touch. I've said personal so many times in this video, I'm so sorry. But it can lose that personal touch really quickly and you might not feel like yourself wearing something like that. But I know it can be really hard when you're looking online on Instagram, on Pinterest and all these things to even think of another way to dress these items because all you've ever seen are these 10 ways to wear it. If that, there's not even that many normally. Think of how you would wear it in the opposite season. With the sweater vest, to me, it's a little bit more winter, fall appropriate. So if I were to wear it in the summer, I would pair it with a mini skirt, but again, not the schoolgirl mini skirt. I would pair it with a mesh printed skirt on bottom. I mean, I've worn the sweater vest in the summer a million other times too, because I love the look of the sweater vest with a t-shirt underneath or layering it underneath. So wearing nothing underneath and dressing it more for the summertime with long shorts, whatever. I think it's super cute. You could even do this and the cowboy boots, which is a total different feel from the sweater vest. Honestly, the whole key of trying out any of these things is mixing and matching these tips, like use two of these tips at once or all of them at once, and it can really help you think of a bunch of different ways to wear it. With the sparkly pants, to me, they feel a little bit more summery, but I love wearing them in the winter time, so I paired them with just trench and then a baggy t-shirt, and I think that this is a really fun wear way of wearing these pants as well. Okay, and the last three are ones that I can't really show you. You'll know when I say it. The next tip is to alter the piece. If you're wearing a super trendy piece that a million people have worn, it better be looking perfect on you. Because if you wear it in a way where it fits your body so well. It's gonna look like a brand new piece because people are gonna say, I've never seen it look that good. So don't be afraid to get clothes altered. This is honestly my tip most of the time. If you're wearing a piece a million people have worn before and seen before, if you're wearing it and it's a little bit ill-fitting, it's already gonna look that much worse because people have seen it done and done better. I know that's a poo way to think about it. Something else with this is just more is more. You don't want it to look like you are relying solely on the super trendy piece. Like if you are wearing a pair of like printed super trendy pants, you're not wearing it with a crop top and converse. It's like, okay, you didn't even try. Not saying anything's wrong with that, but I'm saying if you wanna get away from that feeling of it not looking personal and you want it to feel like a fit, just experimenting a little bit and finding your personal style, that isn't the way to do it. Don't let your other clothes piggyback on your hero piece that's this super overtly trendy piece. Add your jewelry, you guys know. Add your sunglasses, your hat, your bag, whatever shoes, a jacket, a scarf at it all. The piece will not look so much like a, not an eyesore, cause I wouldn't say that's what it is, but just like so out there, it will feel more like a put together fit that everything just flows 
really nicely. And finally, no matter what you're wearing, the key to any outfit is looking and acting confident. Personal style is so subjective and anyone who has a respect for fashion and clothes, if you're doing something and you look like you're having a good time, you feel good, everyone else is going to feel good too. It's just contagious, quite honestly. So. Wear whatever makes you feel good, whether it's trendy or not, blah, 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 blah. Those are all my tips. I hope this helps somebody and maybe one day if you have time, you can try it out and mess around with the clothes in your closet. If you want more actual visual ways to test out this kind of trendy but personal outfits, I highly suggest you check out Adrienne. She is the queen of wearing super trendy pieces, but making it feel like you've never seen it before. Whether she is wearing a skirt as a top or a more is more, she has such a knack for making things look personal. Like her style is so true to her. Whether she's wearing something from Zara House of Sunny or whatnot, she's so good at it. So make sure to check her out because honestly, I struggled a lot with this and I'm much more somebody who dresses a little bit more basic nowadays and toned down just because that's what I feel confident in. Thank you so much for watching this video though. I had a lot of fun making it. I love these kind of videos. If you have more suggestions for this type of conscious fashion series that I've been doing, make sure to leave them in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys in a few days. I love you so much. Bye.